Good afternoon. I'm Reverend Dr. Marsha Williams, Conference Minister of the New York Conference. And today, I want to share with you a thought from John, the 19th chapter and the 30th verse. And there it reads, Therefore, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. It's Good Friday. Good Friday. And we are nearing the, the, the end of this difficult yet holy, holy week. Good Friday. It's the day that we turn our attention to an old rugged cross on a hill far away. You know, historians suggest that the last words of a dying man can tell you a lot about that person. So when I think about these final words Jesus uttered on the cross, it reminded me that on the cross, Jesus was in the business of finishing business. When, when we take time and we look at this and unpack this unique phrase, it is finished. In the Greek, the phrase translates into one word, tetelestai. And it means to bring to an end, to complete. And in the Greek, it's considered the perfect tense. And so the perfect tense speaks of an action that has been completed in the past, yet the results continue into the present. So when Jesus cried out, it is finished, he was actually declaring victory. He, he was saying, I've successfully completed the work that I came to do. It is done and it can't be undone. So think about it. The sermons had all been preached. The lame were walking and the mute were talking. All the miracles had been performed at Calvary with, with this simple utterance. All the Old Testament prophecies were now fulfilled. The stripes had been born, the vinegar had been served, the 30 pieces of silver had changed hands, the garments had been divided, and the side had been wounded. In that moment, every prophecy was now fulfilled. Jesus said, it is accomplished, and nobody can even improve on it. On the cross, the sacrificial system was abolished, and the Levitical priesthood instantly became outdated. What Jesus was saying is that this work was finished in the past. It is still finished in the present, and it will remain finished for all eternity. Tetelestai. Beloved of God, with all that was accomplished and completed on that Friday, yet still, that wasn't the end of the story. Somehow there was triumph that would come from what seemed to be defeat. So the message of Good Friday is that even as we stand today in the sacredness of this Holy Week, we can look forward. We can look forward with joy to the glorious resurrection that comes with knowing that the salvific work of Jesus Christ at Calvary was indeed finished. Be blessed.